Welcome to more Walking Dead, the next chapter episode, Amid the Ruins. I mean, let's just go. I mean, I got nothing, nothing to say here, so let's just do it. Carver died. Uh, Previously, I laughed like crazy, and uh, the episode ended. <laughs> How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! Kenny! Kenny! Yeah, he got when you cover good. yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Her dad got shot. And, uh, yeah, we chopped off her arm. And I laughed. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. I found it hilarious. Blonde woman. Oh, no, 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 no! I wasn't ready on the WASD. <laughs> I was just like, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Go with Luke. It's time to go with Luke. You stupid fucking kid. Get your axe. And get a get a move on. I can't find 
find anybody. I know. What do we do? Mope was with me, but... I, I can't do this alone. We can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Look! The walkers are still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to... each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We can't clear back to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? There. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Slowly, you'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> Just do what she says. Like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You guys are fine. Just go. You think we should spread out? We spread out. You said you would stand with me. Well, I'm just a fucking kid. <laughs> Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. They're so pity. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. I'll try not to fall behind. Stay with me. Ah, fuck off. Fuck off. Ugh. People are such... Such bitches. Oh, and their clothes are all fine now. How the fuck did they watch, wash them? Wish washy wash. Is... Everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just... I'm going as fast as I can. I mean, you really can't afford to be pregnant unless... I know unless I should feel glad that we escaped. You gotta... But I just can't Heidi stop out. thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? 
It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. <laughs> yeah. And? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. Ah, Rebecca, please. Please control thy hor hormones. Oh, we can use... We can't just sit here doing nothing. Can it? I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long... We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Well, he's pretty depressorino. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... He's not thinking straight. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll... I don't know. Snap out of it? He barely the... Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him? Okay. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Yeah, well... I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Being angry won't help anything. Nope. 
Because it's sure as hell helping me. No. <laughs> I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? Clementine, That's please. That's not how it works! He's strong. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Well... It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's right. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. We need basic provisions. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Well, I mean... Psh. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Kenny just needs to process... that Sarita died. And that I was being practical about it. But he just needs to process that. But he needs an outlet. Which is unfortunate. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you. Away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. Or just with someone you can you trust. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. They're not bad people, but... There have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Hmm. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've... I mean, the human bite. It's impressive. I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. 
It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. Let's end it on that one. I mean... Mm. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And tune into the next.